Hello folks, in this movie I will show you the most powerful motto from uh, Bafang. It's a mid-drive version. Uh, this model is called uh, G510 or M620. So as you can see this is like a fully integrated uh, frame uh, model. It's not like a BBS HD or BBS uh, S02. Where you can more install it on the every bike, like normal uh, crank uh, bottom bracket. This one, uh, this motor needs special uh, frame build specifically for this motor. So you can see three attachment points holding this uh, motor connected to the frame. So what is the problem with this motor? Uh, the motor is working fine on the uh, gas throttle, but there is no reaction when I'm pedaling. So this is pure indication that something is wrong with the torque sensor built in the axle. I already bought the new one, which you can see here. So this is the assembly I need to replace. This uh, torque sensor is built in in the axle. You have the signal cables connecting to the controller in the motor. So what I'll be doing now will be just uh, removing this cover here, removing the axle, and putting the new one in place of the old one. I hope this will solve the problem. Here you can see interiors of this motor. So this uh, three big cogs is the main transmission system. Here you can see the controller, with all the cabling connected to it. The thick wires are the phase wires going to the motor. Uh, and here is the axle with built-in uh, torque sensor. So we have to disconnect this white cable going to the controller and then unbolt uh, this assembly. And then I'll be able to install the new one. To make the job easier, I'll disassemble this uh, piece with the controller and with the gears from the main uh, body. Here, by the way, you can see how this gearing system works so the motor is uh, spinning fast and then this rotation is transferred to this cock and then going to this one and this is the last stage you can call it so as you can see it's quite a big difference in gears ratio and thanks to this this motor can achieve almost 160 newton meters uh, torque uh, one of the most powerful uh, mid-drive motors on the market. Okay, so let's go further. I'll just start disassembling screws from this axle assembly. I don't want to bother with you know, watching how I remove the screws, so I'll try to be quick. Here we have this uh, clutch mechanism to be installed on the new axle. The cable is not attached to anything. So I just need to lift this assembly. Before I do this I need to remove the seal clip holding the axle in place. This piece I have removed this cover from this position and now I can remove the axle. I don't see any screws. So probably now it's just enough to use. Hammer. Still not going. Hmm. 
after using plenty of this uh, rust removal fluid and using a lot of persuasion with the hammer and the axle finally started moving out so, yeah here you can see it hmm. so the manufacturer didn't use the grease on the shaft here So it can easily get stuck in the bearing after a while. Okay, so here is the original torque sensor assembly, which is most probably failed, broken. So I'll pull the new one, put all the elements together, and then test the motor, see if it works as it should or not. Hmm. I hope. Okay, I put the anti sizing pasta in the bearing. So I will start assembling this back again. Here we have this uh, blocking uh, pin which needs to slide in here. I need to use the hammer, see again. Put it back in place. To install this axle I need to use quite a lot of force with the hammer. But in order to avoid damage to the bearing, it's wise to support the bearing chrome. Maybe you can see it better like here. This metal ring with some kind of socket. So it will not pop out when I'm smashing it the axle of the hammer and this gives like good support okay, let's have a look yeah now it's alright so you need to be aware yeah make sure that the slots for the axle yeah are fully visible above the bearing. If they will be recessed then you will have problem with attaching the pedals. Okay, so the socket can go back to its place. And now I can put more stuff like this securing ring. Check the alignment. Worth to put the grease here as well. You never know when you have to take it out again. It's aluminium, so it doesn't rust, but it doesn't hurt to use some anti sizing pasta here and there. The alignment is always important. If you do not make it right, there will be problems later on. Okay. Now it's in the correct place. Putting clutch back again in place. It's the same mechanism as you have in the cassette, by the way, or the boss in the back wheel. Yeah, not in the cassette itself, but just just a boss. Okay. So now I can connect the controller to 
the motor. I'll connect cables now. This uh, torque sensor first. Just going in this socket. Then there is like two black wires for the whole sensor. Like it here. These cables are fragile, so it's important not to strain them too much. Put this housing on its side. I don't want to damage anything. And now I can connect the phase wires. Okay. Green to green, yellow to yellow. And the blue one. Nothing is loose. I don't see any burns on the controller. If something was broken here, then uh, that gas will not work. But it was only uh, the torque sensor issue. Okay. Final check. Uh, then I can put it back together. I had to change the approach to assemble everything back together. It's much easier when you put the gears in this motor housing. Not like I, as you saw before, it was uh, all of them were here. So now I can just put back again all the cabling. Let's try now. Cables have tendency to go places where they shouldn't. Okay, nice and easy. So now I just need to screw everything together. I have installed back uh, this buffer motor on the front back, which was uh, installed originally. So I already tested; it's working fine, as it should. So I will just show you quickly. This motor in operation. So as I mentioned before, gas was working fine. And it's working fine without as well. This time also the torque sensor works as it should. So it's just enough just to use a little bit more force. Maybe I'll put the camera on the stand so you'll see it better. Okay, the camera is on the stand. So now I can show you how this uh, motor operates when I'm pedaling. I need to use some force. And the uh, wheel needs to be in full stop position to engage the stock sensor. And I need to use quite a lot of force because normally it's reacting when you're pedaling with legs. Again. You can hear motor engaging whenever I'm pressing hard. 
Bem grande. And then power diminishes when I'm releasing the pressure from the pedals. And that's the correct behavior. Okay, thanks for watching the movie. If you like it, subscribe it. My channel. I'm making a lot of other movies. Might be interesting for you. Take care.